Iran's powerful paramilitary Revolutionary Guard on Saturday launched a new satellite-carrying rocket, State TV reported, seeking to demonstrate the force's space prize, even as anti-government protests rage across the country. State TV said the Guard successfully launched the solid-fueled rocket what it called a GIM-100 satellite carrier. Iranian State TV did not immediately show any footage of the launch. The state runner in a news agency reported that the carrier would be able to put a satellite weighing 80 kilograms, 176 pounds, into orbit some 500 kilometers, 310 miles, from Earth. N. Amir Ali Hajizadeh, the commander of the Guard's Aerospace Division, said he hoped the Guard would soon use the rocket to put a new satellite, named Nahid, into orbit. Iran says its satellite program, like its nuclear activities, is aimed at scientific research and other civilian applications. The U.S. and other Western countries have long been suspicious of the program because the same technology can be used to develop long-range missiles. The announcement came amid protests that have embroiled the country for seven weeks, calling for overthrowing the clerical rule. Security forces, including paramilitary volunteers with the Revolutionary Guard, have violently cracked down on the demonstrations, killing some 300 people, according to rights groups. On March 8, Iran's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard launched a second satellite into space, the country's state-run news agency reported Monday, just as world powers awaited Tehran's decision and negotiations over the country's tattered nuclear deal. The Erna report did not identify where or when the launch took place. However, it came as Iran's top diplomat at the months-long talks suddenly flew home late Monday for consultations, a sign of the growing pressure on Tehran, as the negotiations appear to be nearing their end. The Guard said the newer two satellite reached a low orbit on the Geist satellite carrier, Erna reported. It described the Geist as a three-phase mixed-fuel satellite carrier. Newer means light in Farsi. The Guard launched its first newer satellite in 2020, revealing to the world it ran its own space program. Meanwhile, Erna described negotiator Ali Bagheri Khani's trip home as being within the framework of the usual consultations during the talks. However, the top negotiator for the European Union seemed to suggest whether the talks succeeded or failed, now rested with the Islamic Republic. There are no longer expert-level talks. Nor formal meetings Enrique Mora wrote on Twitter, responding to comments by an Iranian analyst. It is time, in the next few days, for political decisions to end the hashtag Vienna talks. The rest is noise. Moore's comments mirror those of British and French negotiators at the Vienna talks, which has been working to find a way to get America back into the accord it unilaterally abandoned in 2018 under then-President Donald Trump. It also hopes to get Iran to again agree to measures that drastically scaled back its nuclear program in exchange for the lifting of economic sanctions. They also appear to push back against a constant Iranian refrain in the last weeks of talks that tried to blame any delay on America, which hasn't been in the room for talks since Trump's withdrawal. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Sunday said he believed we're close on reaching a deal, though there were a couple of very challenging remaining issues. The latest wrinkle, however, is a demand Saturday from Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov that Blinken offer written guarantees over Moscow's ability to continue trade with Iran as it faces sanctions over its war on Ukraine. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Emir Abdelahian spoke Monday by phone with Lavrov, with the sanctions threat apparently discussed, according to a statement from his office.
we are against war and imposition of sanctions, and it is clear that cooperation between the Islamic Republic of Iran and any country, including Russia, should not be affected by the atmosphere of sanctions, Emir Abdullahian said in the statement. The 2015 nuclear deal saw Iran put advanced centrifuges into storage under the watch of the International Atomic Energy Agency, while keeping its enrichment at 3.67 percent purity, and its stockpile at only 300 kilograms pounds, of uranium. As of February 19, the IAEA says Iran's stockpile of all enriched uranium was nearly 3,200 kilograms, 7,055 pounds. Some has been enriched up to 60 percent purity, a short technical step from weapons-grade levels of 90 percent.